Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Redmine plugins on your Redmine server. Let's get right into this. So once you are logged into Redmine, you want to go to administration, settings, and plugins. So this is where you'll be managing your plugins from. But before that, we would need to install our plugins via SSH. So um, Redmine has a huge plugin directory where you can check out multiple plugins and you can just go to redmine.org slash plugins and you'll be able to check out different plugins used for different things. So for this video, I have a banner plugin that displays information on the site to all users on the site. To install this plugin, we can head over to the plugin page on Redmine and go to the plugin website so here's the plugin website on github and the first thing you want to do is connect to your redmine instance via ssh so to do that go to your redmine instance and go to connect then ssh client so you see the command you can use to connect to your redmine instance here so what you want to do is um download your key pair then type in this command ssh dash i your key pair then instead of root you want to type in ubuntu at your public dns so let's try this i'm going to copy this code head over to my terminal i'm going to paste this here then i'm going to change this to ubuntu now i'm connected to my redmine instance on aws so let's see what we have here and i want to go into the redmine directory let's see what we have here and let's go into the plugin directory so the next thing we want to do is get our plugin from github and just clone that into plugins directory so you might also want to check the installation instructions from the developer of that plugin so let's clone this in let's check if this is done then the next thing we want to do is the migration task so this will get our plugin installed so to do that we need to use this command here And you need to be root for this command. So let's sudo su. Then I'm just going to paste that command over there. So now we are done. The next thing we need to do is restart Redmine. So to do this, go to your Redmine instance and come over to instance states, then reboot instance. So let's reboot this. So this will take a while to reboot. And once this is done, we can proceed with checking out our plugin. So we've been able to reboot our instance successfully. And I'm just going to log in again with admin and my instance ID. So let's log in. Then let's go back to administration. And we have our banner plugin here. So if you go to plugins, you'll be able to see plugins you have installed so we can just click on this to access the banner settings so let's change the banner message here and i'm just going to display this for all users let's make this a warning and let's say um and redmine updates in progress so let's save this I'm just going to make this appear on the header and the footer. Let's apply. Okay. And we have our banner message right there. So this is how to install and use a Redmine plugin. Then to uninstall the plugin, you just need to use this command here. You need to do this as root as well. So I'm going to go back to my terminal. Then let's log back in. Let's cd into Redmine. Let's clear this. Let's log in as root. 
And I'm going to paste this command here. Then after that, I want to go into the plugins directory and delete the Redmine banner plugin. So let's delete that directory. Then we've un successfully uninstalled our plugin. So we need to reboot our server again, our instance. And once this is done, this will take a while, but once this is done, our plugin will be successfully uninstalled. So let's wait for this. So we've been able to restart Redmine successfully, and I'm just going to sign in again with admin and my instance ID as the password. Then let's go to administration and we can see our plugin has been deleted and the banner message is gone. So this is how you install and uninstall a Redmine plugin. And yeah, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to check out Redmine for free, um, I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments below. So you can try out Hillbytes Redmine on AWS for free. And yeah, that'll be all for today. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.